my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got pretty serious piece on earth stamped with Madrid of Mandalas, a plate by Manisha M. And here is the pretty serious piece on earth. And before that was my base coat. It was a peel off. Posh is what I'm topping it off with. I'll be using the Nicole Diary NS11 and NS03 as well as a Born Pretty Hot Pink and my Bundle Monsters monocle stamper and here is this beautiful plate by Manisha M and it's CJSLC18 and this is a really neat layering plate you pick out your first little design and you can do these as full designs or partial designs and I'm going to start in the corner of my nail and build my ring out from there from the tip so there's my first one and now I'm going to move on to the second ring and this is just so cool because you just get to pick out which mix and match and there's just so many different I mean the the possibilities are endless you can just come up with so many different cool manicures and then I'm going to pop that one on and you can do them all in the same color mix and match colors it's just an amazing thing and then I'm going to pick this outer ring and do it in hot pink. And I know a lot of people might look at this and think, God, that's an awful lot of work. But for me, it's not work, it's play. And this was so much fun. Now, I'm not sponsored by Clear Jelly Stamper or Manisha. I'm not getting paid to do this. But I'm telling you guys, you're going to hear the excitement that I have over this plate. And I've got another one. It'll come up in another video. Um, she came up with two plates, and I'm just so proud of her. It's just so cool to see one of your fellow YouTuber friends get to do something like this. This is just so cool. And I've always loved mandala nail art designs, and this is just taking it straight over the edge for me. I'm just so excited. So you might get to see quite a few manicures coming up very soon <laughs> with these plates I'm just eat up with it and I will be completely honest this is my first purchase from the clear jelly stamper for their stamping plates I own some of their stampers but I was always super intimidated by the layering process of the clear jelly stamper plates I, I just was so confused and but this one the way it was laid out with ease this ring first this ring second this ring third it totally worked for me because I was like okay cool because I and as you can see I'm not messing this up I'm actually getting it so this was a lot of fun and of course I couldn't stop with that was supposed to be the end of it but I decided okay there's a little bit more blank space on my on my nail let me do some more so I just keep going I picked more designs using the same colors and just kept going with it just having way too much fun with this my husband saw this manicure the night that I did it, and he thought they looked like the Fabergé eggs. He just thought that that was just the coolest thing he'd ever seen. So, it got a Mr. Moon Baby's thumbs up, and that's always nice. This is just so much fun. Of course, I'm so excited I'm having trouble paying attention to what nail I'm even supposed to be working on. Very pretty love love all the designs I will leave a link for Manisha M down in my description box as well as a link to the clear jelly stamper website like I said I'm not getting paid for this I don't get paid a quota I don't make any commission off of this I just really believe in Manisha and what she's done here and to be honest with you I, I, I would back any of my YouTube friends if they did something like this because this is just amazing And there we go. We're going to go on the corner on that one. Oh, I'm having too much fun. But I really liked how this plate was laid out. It just made it so much easier for me to wrap my little nail polish brain around. And it just made sense to me. Like I said, the other ones have always intimidated me. But I might branch out now that I've had 
a good experience with this one. I might have to get on board and get me some more of those stamping plates. This is just such a cool manicure. I hope you guys are loving it. And I am going to do my cleanup with my masking tape. And I'm happy to report that all of these polishes came up really well with the tape method. I'll be using my cleanup brush and some non, well, it's acetone based nail polish, but it's not pure, pure nail polish remover with acid. I mean, it's, uh, stop, rewind. It is nail polish remover with acetone in it. I have backed off from the pure acetone. There we go. Finally got it out. And I am noticing that my cuticles and the skin around my fingers are um, a little happier with me because of this change. The only thing that is different is my cleanup brushes. I have to clean it a little better. I have to kind of wipe it with a paper towel real well. And I'm going to top this one off with posh top coat and seal in that beautiful design. Make this manicure last a little while. But this is what I did with the mandala plate. I am so excited and so happy to be able to share it with you. There's our orangewood stick. Guys, I'm still running that contest. Uh, not really a contest contest per se, but we're collecting names for that stick. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.